everybody! I'm doing a 60 minute soul journey session and this is for Jennifer and Jennifer has shared some extraordinary background on her life and uh, the goals for the session and how we're going to bring all of this life experience into balance in this now moment. I'm going to read some of this background and then I'm going to get started. So okay. All right, as a brief background, I feel like I've lived several lifetimes within this one lifetime. I've lived many places, known many people, and experienced a kaleidoscope, variety of situations and circumstances, often for only short periods. This pattern started in my childhood, attending 15 schools, many of them in different states by the time I entered the ninth grade, and continues to this day in the form of the work I've done as a contractor for many years. I don't know for sure, but it seems as though I've been reconciling many experiences in lifetimes. It's difficult for anyone to really know me for this reason, because there's literally too much to know about me. <laughs> I've overcome so much in this life, and though it's been hard, it has made me extremely strong. I'm proud of myself and all that I've achieved so far, but as you know, there's always more to do, and I feel so tired and weighed down by all that I've experienced. I could really use your assistance to bring everything together and lighten my load so that I can experience the profound shifts I've been working toward. I know my energy systems are functioning in a discombobulated fashion, and while all the changes I've made have been good and necessary, doing them has made me feel somewhat rickety. I have a sense that I need to join everything together, all the wisdom gained from all these experiences and close and or end those cycles a sort of overall completion of certain themes in my life to this point, to bring about peace, harmony, and balance. And more than that, it's like this is what's needed now to allow me to make a powerful, unified leap forward on my path. I know you can help me with this, and I can't wait to get started. <sighs> okay, this is a really cool background story, and I'm really excited to help with the discombobulated <laughs> energy field, but to close or end the cycles, I think that's a really interesting way to put it. And I mean, I don't even know what I'm gonna be stepping into, except I'm excited to find out. <laughs> all right, I mean, just one moment here to really absorb all of this energy information. I don't know. When, when I read this, I know my energy systems are functioning in discombobulated fashion. I actually wonder, because you seem to have it together, but we're going to find out. <laughs> okay, I'm ready now. I'm going to relax here. Actually, let's make sure my phone is on mute, and it is. Okay, here we go. Okay, Jennifer. Huh. All right, here we go. So what I, the first thing I, I'm experiencing right now is, so you could have a carousel, right? And you could have, this is a smaller carousel, and I'm going like literally round and round and round and round very quickly. It's small. I mean, this is not going to go very high off the ground, and it's like a, a swing, but the swing just goes around and around, but it's like a carousel, so you could sit in it, and you're not going to go upside down, but you're going to go around and around in a very unified, um, comfortable fashion, but it is going to just keep going like this. It is going to keep going like this. So I'm just slowing that down. I really like your carousel. I mean, you're going to be safe. You're going to be fine in there. And it's actually a very sturdy structure, so it's not going to fall apart. But I'm slowing this, this cycle down so you can get off of this carousel. Okay. Is it a carousel? Is that what they call it? Is that what the horse is? Or <laughs> I think you know what I mean, right? Is it a carousel? I'm just slowing this down some more. Okay. 
Okay, part of the reason why you keep keep going like this is you're telling me that you're not sure if it's time yet to get off. And the reason why is because you've become so used to this routine that for it to stop all of a sudden is confusing for your energy field. It's not that you couldn't do it, but it's very confusing. And even when I slow this down to a stop and I welcome you to enter into a new world of things not going around and around in circles, you say, well, I'm not really sure if I'm ready for that or if it's time or if that's actually me. Your energy field says this. And that actually makes my heart feel sad. It's like somebody living on the ocean for their entire life suddenly finds land and then steps on the land and they have land sickness, you know, because they're used to water and the movement of water, and now they have to adjust to something totally different than they've ever known their whole life. And that's what it's like in your energy field. You're going to have to adjust to something you've, you've never experienced before. And that's literally what it's like. We're having an energy communication right now. And I'm telling you that it, it's safe to try and just see what you think. But if it's not for you, you can always get back on. I'm, this will always be here for you. Whenever you feel a need to get back on, it will always be here for you. But why not just see what's, what it's like to do it differently? All right, when I do this, when I try to uh, help you cross the barrier from this carousel <laughs> to what is not moving land, <laughs> there's a big wall that appears and it is preventing you from getting off this ride. And it says no. This wall is really firm and you do listen to it and you you do feel as though it is sort of like God's wisdom or God's guidance so you just remain in your seat or in your position but again it's your energy field that isn't adjusted to your consciousness stepping out of the flow of what has become your energy pattern into a totally different flow of energy patterns it's freaking out <laughs> so there's the discombobulated part that's what it is <laughs> it is freaking out about this idea but you you have many parts of yourself, right? So on the conscious level, you're totally together. You're smart. You're or like this carousel thing is brilliantly built. Um, it's built smart. It's not going to fall apart and you're not going to fall apart within it. You're safe um, and it goes in a, a steady pace that you can keep up with, even if it's sort of like I'm done with this ride. I'm ready to get off. Um, it is quite uh, organized in its own manner. OK, but now when you want to make a change at the conscious level, your energy that you have uh, developed this history of pattern with is freaking out. <laughs> and no, you're never going to get up. You aren't going to change anything. That's ego because ego likes consistency and ego freaks out when we make changes. That's why a lot of people don't like change. So, so you're okay with change at the conscious level, but your energy is freaking out about it because it's going to have to learn new, a new way of being, and it doesn't know what that looks like or how to do that. So it's trying to put up a lot of stop signs. You really are an extraordinary person, and it, it's obvious just from reading your writing, but I can also tell just from the basic stuff I'm walking into in your energy field, you are, and you will be able to. I know you can do it. It's going to be kind of an interesting new ride in the process, but let's see. I'm trying to uh, work through dissolving this energy wall that uh, is quite familiar to you and it feels natural, feels like normal life and you just stay on this ride. But it's not. It's unnatural. It's your energy that is uh, putting a block up.
So I'm going to do something unexpected to the energy itself. And I take your consciousness with me and I put your consciousness into a body and you and I are walking hand in hand <laughs> off of this carnival ride. And we just say sayonara, see you later, not... <laughs> and we walk off. <laughs> And uh, you get it very emotional about it as we are leaving. We're, we're in literally a carnival setting. And there's so many different games or rides to explore. But I say, why don't we just leave the carnival altogether? I mean, I think you've tried out a lot of games, even if you've been stuck in this carousel experience. But I feel like your soul loves to try out many things likes to try out to see how, you know, if you're going to win the giant stuffed animal with this or not. Now maybe you'll do better over here. Maybe this roller coaster ride will be fun or maybe it won't be. But your your soul seems to like to try lots of extremely different things and see what it's like. So your soul definitely um <laughs> likes to taste a lot of different flavors of ways life can be. So I say let's just leave this carnival of trying new things and let's just walk into a forest in a quiet path because that is the one thing that I think you're ready for more than any of these other exciting bells and whistles. <sighs> because you have another root essence within you and it's a sort of a wise old woman wise old tree there's something i see a an old 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 tree in the center of the woods and this tree gives wisdom in life and uh it inspires the balance of the entire forest and it goes from being a really massive giant old tree um to being a very old woman and she's She's wise and she's in the center of the balance of the forest and she keeps the forest in balance. And this is a root part of your soul. That's really cool. And it's time to go back to that. Things are starting to quiet down in your mind and your heart um, energy is starting to relax more. There's still a energy like it's like uh, all packed different uh, colors and items like like kind of packed together over there where we're walking away from it. And so that energy is, is actually just going to dissolve itself and fade away because it's not needed anymore and we're moving on from it. And we don't even have to worry about that massive block that decides whether you get to leave or not because you've already decided so now we're just going to move with that decision and everything else has to move with it. And uh, we're making quite, uh, we're making progress quite well here. So the next thing I feel out is in this peaceful forest as we're walking towards the center tree, which is also you, um, there's a bit of a poppy, um, kind of electric eel type energy, and it's sort of zappy, and it's uh, very influential of movement and excitement or bells and whistles or change, because the pathway is consistent. It's the same. It's uh, meditative. It is not going to change anytime soon. It is going to stay as it is. So we're going to have to override that, okay? So this is you um, not used to this. <laughs> so I'm, I'm literally, the, the, this is the path here, and we're moving along the path. <laughs> I'm like, you can make it. You can do it. So I'm just going to calm you down again. It, it's actually quite... Uh, I mean, it, it even goes swirls around your head like really fast wind and it clears your mind and it almost sweeps you off your feet as well. But we're saying no. And when we say no with firm, confident stance, I'm actually going to just choose a consistent lifestyle for a while. I mean, we don't even have to put a time frame on it, but we're not going to change anything. 
I'm, I'm actually altering your energy field to accept um, just a consistency for a while, okay? In order to alter your patterns. You are strong because you are able to say no to all these influences to encourage you to go back to the carnival experiences of change. But you're able to say, I'm, I'm okay with it because I've had so many of those experiences that I'm okay um, th with this path. I'm okay with this. And uh, it, we do have to stop for a bit. And you have, do have to concentrate and focus but all that energy that tries to influence you to go back, um, eventually it dissipates. And you're, once the wind and the electric eel and the poppy energy goes away, um, your whole energy body that I'm walking with in the woods, um, it starts to turn into a liquefied sort of a sl stretchable slime body. It just starts to melt to the ground, but you you still have a skeleton and stuff, and it's still kind of a it's like saran wrapped around the skeleton, but all this gush on the ground. And uh, the skeleton bones start to break apart, and you fall um, into this sort of gushy Sl slime mess on the ground and you say Abby I don't know if I can hold it together I don't know if I can stay stay together and I say just say that you can sit, stay together and you will stay together she shows me that each one of the bones so in this image, you're literally like a pile of brown slime with bones completely disconnected. All the bones are in this brown slime. And then the spirit of this part of you is talking to me right now. And she tells me that each one of these bones represents something special. And the, one of them is a rib that she's taking out of the slime. And she's showing it to me. And I say, well, what does this rib bone mean to you? She says, I can't remember. <laughs> I just know that it's special. And she wants to hold on to this one bone. Of all the specialist bones, she wants to hold on to this one. And she knows when she gets to this wise old tree that the tree will remind her. The tree will help her. And I say, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just wait a second here. You are the wise tree. You already are the wise tree. If you are the wise tree, then you already know the answer to the meaning of this bone. You know the answer to the meaning of all the bones. You know the answer to the meaning of this brown slime. You know the answer to the meaning as to why I'm even here. You know the answer to the meaning of so much. She says, well, maybe then I'm afraid of, of being myself. I'm afraid of being this super extraordinary tree. And I say, what is one thing that uh, overwhelms you or intimidates you the most about that? She says, knowing everything, <laughs> knowing so much. Hmm. They say, sometimes when I explore the idea of knowing things, it's not the, the one plus one equals two answers. That, that isn't what any human being should ever strive to know, those types of very specific answers. But what we should um, strive to know is how we feel. How we feel if we feel intimidated. And the best we understand as to why we feel intimidated. Well, knowing all the answers, well, what does that actually mean to you? What if it's okay to transform the word answer into... Um, 
the way everything feels to you. We could alter the meaning of things so it's not intimidating because there really isn't anything intimidating about this at all. And you say, well, maybe, maybe I'm just saying these things. I, I, it's almost like, um, hmm. There's something about the carousel that that is so familiar and it is so uh, natural that now we're walking the path and uh, preparing this part of you to merge with this like super extraordinary old root kind of thing. And it's a bit too much, like it's a bit overwhelming um, on the energy process of transforming into something different, totally new. And then, she, yeah, I mean, she's still kind of uh, frazzled a bit and she wants to just be the blob again with all the different bones. Now she just feels like she's just wrong about everything. <laughs> I'm going to give her time, okay? So I just give her time. Because I, I can't just tell her to... Get yourself together. Get, let's just keep walking and see what happens next. I'm not going to do that because I want her, this part of you, to find the strength to do that and say that for herself. So I'm just giving her time and a long time to contemplate. Why is she a goop on the ground full of bones? You have overcome the carousel world. This is interesting. So Jennifer, when I give your soul more time and you're still this goop of bones, you actually are triggering the carnival again to take place and you're sending your soul off to live like lots of lifetimes um, to bring all this information back to you to make you strong again. But you don't need to do that. You actually have lived all the lifetimes you need to live and you need to find that truth within yourself. And you have, it seems that you have, you, you are knowing this. At the conscious level, you are knowing this. But there's other aspects of you that are used to energy patterns, etc. Now here we are. Um, that aren't certain of that. That are just not sure. Don't know if they feel comfortable with that. Better just create more activity just to be on the safe side. Then I think I'll be ready. But no. So I don't actually let the consciousness blob... <laughs> Um, decide that it will live more lifetimes because it, it has I'm not allowing it to do that it has to decide inside of itself that it is complete it's lived all the lifetimes that it needs to live and it needs to trust in itself and believe in itself that it is everything that it needs to be right now so I'm not allowing it there's a lot, I mean, it's almost like a d addictive behavior that I'm breaking you from and uh, you're kind of freaking out at me for not allowing you to live these lives because I'm kind of destroying you, you, the completion of this pathway, but I'm not. I'm giving you the ability to know that it's done already. So I'm just going to keep giving you more time, but you have to find the strength inside yourself to stand up and to know and to trust and to believe that you have gone full circle. 110% you've done it. And there's no more efforts you need to put into going full circle. Okay, a lot of versions of you start to appear on the pathway and they're they're con con determined. I mean, these faces aren't very happy with me. And it's kind of rows and rows and rows of faces and they blur out and there's only a couple that I can see. One in particular is a man. And he's got very short hair. And he makes me think of a boxer. 
And he keeps looking at me and with an intimidating look. But I just send him like flowers and hearts and things. And I welcome him to come forward and to get to know this other part of himself, which is a blob on the ground full of bones. He instantly picks up the rib bone and he looks at it and he says, there's something about this bone. Hmm. And then he starts to dissolve into this puddle, this slime puddle. And every, all the other people that were standing here start to just turn into a fog of energy and it starts to go into the slime puddle as well. And I ask her, are you ready to, to walk with me again? We could leave the slime and all the bones behind. Reality is they're always going to be with us no matter where we go. And we got to change our perceptions here. Why don't you just be consciousness and walk with me? You know, let's just let everything go, kind of like we did with the carousel. I just took your consciousness and put it in a body, and then we started walking. So let's just leave all this behind, and we'll just bring your consciousness with, which is even lighter now than the other consciousness of you, because we're letting go of density. <laughs> so you're much lighter, and uh, I'm creating a body, and then we're just going to keep walking on the path, and we're just going to let everything go. We're just going to move on from it all, everything. And there's no, no answers we need to figure out. There's nothing we need to know. We're just, the one thing we do need to know and acknowledge is that we don't need to know and acknowledge anything else anymore. <laughs> and we're just going to continue to move down the pathway. This is lightening you up. It's helping you to feel a lot lighter. Hmm. It's very silent. We're still on the path. But it's almost like we're turning into rays of sunlight. And we're like the rays of sunlight that go in between the tree leaves down to the forest floor. And the sunlight can be everywhere. It can be literally everywhere. And it's gentle and it's soft and it doesn't have to think about anything. It can just be. Can't hold sunlight in your hand. But you can feel its warmth. And the sunlight um, is nurturing this center tree. And you are touching the center tree with the rays of sunlight that you are. And the center tree then is nurtured by those rays. And sends information to the other trees that are also being nurtured by the rays. And you ask the tree if, it will, if you will ever be done, if you will ever be complete. This big tree shows me that all the trees in the forest are all the versions of you that you've been in this cycle, in this timeline. And that she's been nurturing you. She's like the higher self version kind of thing. And she's been nurturing all the different parts of you that you've ever been. And you're the one part that she needs in order to complete her forest. But um, I see that something about the spirit of you as being absorbed into her tree and absorbed into all of the trees and so all all of you is receiving you so not say all at the same time so it's not like a baby tree is born that you can merge with but it's like you're merging with all of these yous And once the rays of your light uh, shine down upon everything that's absorbing you, I start to see the mother tree is, um, it's almost like she's bringing back into her own body all of the parts of herself that became these trees. It's almost like she's the original tree that seeded the whole forest. And all these trees then came from her. 
And uh, I do see in this energy space all those, these trees just turning to energy and then coming back into herself. And I feel like her spirit is about to be set free from this old tree. That's exactly what is happening here. And so the spirit of the tree, which is also the spirit of you, which is the spirit of all that you've ever been in this timeline here, um, is risen up, all right? You're not the rays of light anymore. You just are you and all the yous you've ever been. And uh, when you rise up, you rise up in darkness. There's nothing here right now. There's not even light here except the light that you are. And so you glow with light. But you still don't feel like you have found your place in this universe, your place in this world, your place. There's something is missing. I don't know why. I'm just, I got this rib bone and you parts of you keep talking about it. So I'm just going to give you this rib bone as a symbol of you you found your place in this world. <laughs> let's, see, let's see what this part of you says. Let's see if this rib bone even matters in this equation. But let's see. Rib bone is a, a spirit is actually dissolving into a, a little person, a little energy person like a fairy. And the influence to um, for the fairy to guide this inner part of you um, is uh, starting to develop. But I feel strongly that we're, uh, you being guided to more things to do is not how we're going to accomplish this. You feeling complete inside yourself is what we need to do. And so I look at the fairy here for a bit. Just give me a minute to examine the energy and the interactions. <sighs> See if I can be the fairy for a moment. Everything is starting to, uh, the fairy and the energy that is you and the inspiration to find something that is missing. Everything is literally starting to dissolve it. The whole thing is dissolving. So that means that I need to move even beyond all of this. <laughs> so let's start with the next scene, okay? Let's just say all of this stuff has now come full circle because there's literally nothing else that has to be done. And now it's all dissolving. So let's see what the next thing is here. Okay. I'm uh I'm on a ladder and I'm I'm coming out of a cave. And I'm coming out of the cave and the sun is shining. And the cave is uh, down, uh, there's like a hole in the ground. It's not on the side of a wall, but it goes into the ground. What if you didn't have to find yourself in the places that you go and the people that you meet? What if you've, you just have to find yourself as just you? And when I see this you come out of the cave, you have a vast forest, totally new image. So there's mountains here, there's beautiful blue sky with white puffy clouds. Um, I get the sense there's bears and deer and rabbits and foxes and wolves in this um, forest. 
There's pine trees, spruce trees, those types, it's that type of forest. And uh, this you is uh, exploring in your mind um, what is your quest or where will you go or what are you going to do. And nothing really comes to mind because there's nothing else you need to do but just be. So I just, I'm just going to create kind of like a, let's say a log cabin home. Let's just create a little space where this part of you can live and let's see what this part of you does. Mm. This part of you says I don't want to live in a log cabin home. I just want to live in the forest. I want to sleep in the forest. I just want to live in the forest. Like you don't want to have a roof over your head. You just want to be a part of the forest like the animals. And they say, okay, that sounds cool. Mm. Now this part of you starts to disappear and the forest feels empty. The animals disappear and the trees feel as though they don't have any purpose. Everything starts to dissolve as though it has no meaning, no tangible meaning for its own existence. And now we've returned to a dark place again. Another idea just came to mind here as well about this carousel is also like a clock and um, the more experiences you have it's like you're speeding up time and now we're having to alter your relationship with time so if we get you off the carousel your time is going to change. It's going to alter its um, frequency, it's going to alter its, uh, it, you're going to be in a different experience of time. And um, everything that I'm doing here is to help this whole thing come full circle, which it is doing. And we're just running into new challenges in the, in the process of adapting or adjusting to the reality that you've completed everything and slowing down your relationship with time as well. All right. New scene. You are uh, meditating in the dark, and there's the ohm noise that is, you are expressing. <sighs> this feels lonely. This is this is hard here. It's like the ohm is calling. Um, calling for somebody or spirits to come to you but nobody comes and you just keep saying om and in a meditative state and the time here is like eternity time so but it feels like a long time of eternity it's not just a, a moment it's a very long time and nobody comes and you don't you don't understand why and you don't want to stop doing what you are doing but I tell you to just stop doing what you're doing and this creates a sorrow inside of you and a feeling of loneliness and it's almost like um, when this adaptation to a totally new experience of your identity and experience of time, um, this new scene is a reflection of your adaptation, still working on it. But you kind of like have a, a sudden moment and then you kind of blip out and you dissolve again. So you're dissolving again and we're going to have to start over again. So are you creating the carousel again by creating, um, um, I've reached the above this, you know, I, here I am, I, I, I've absorbed all the trees, I am free now. Um, 
but yet I'm still trying to find something that is missing. Well, here, maybe this will help. Turns into a fairy. The fairy is guiding this mother, ancient mother root spirit somewhere. And it's like, no, this again is not balanced. There's something isn't right here. Then it dissolves because it realized something isn't right here. Now a new scene. We're climbing up and out of this cave. Let's start by getting to know who you are. Well, I'm going to live in the woods and do that then. And then you blip out and everything starts to dissolve and fade into nothing. Now a new scene. Here you are, um, ohm in the, the infinite void, but it doesn't feel like a void. It feels like a place where you just, it's dark and you're calling in beings or spirits and nobody comes. And this is creating a sorrow within you. And now I'm bringing us back to this whole concept of your relationship with time. And, you know, you don't have to do that. You can stop saying "Oh, now. And then there's a weird realization and everything blips out again. So you're still somehow managing to leak in the same um, influence to stay on the carousel. But at the same time, we're actually getting you... Um, we're, we are wiggle, we are wiggling, wiggling you out, okay? So we are making extraordinary progress here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to actually pull together everything that we've seen so far, energy, all the energies. So that weird hodgepodge of colors of the carnival that kind of merged together. I'm just going to I'm just going to have that as a, there it is, there it is in my hands here. But then we got this forest scene, um, this blob with bones in it, um, the mother spirit and the fairy, uh, this cave and the forest, you know, the next forest. And now this ohm. So I'm taking all of this energy and I'm just going to merge it all together. Okay, we're just going to merge it all together because it is all you as well. So we're just going to turn it all into you and let's see what happens. The energy <laughs> turns into a key, a skeleton key. So this you becomes a skeleton key. So I put the key in my pocket and I just go up. I'm just going to go up in vibration. And any parts of you that are still down there, we're go I'm going to force you to come up with me. And when we go up, we're going to go up to a new level of what is a timeline, okay? So you have this timeline going on, and somehow in the midst of this timeline of past, present, future all happening simultaneously, you can blip into another timeline of experiences. Um, and you just continue to go up or down the spiral of experiences. And so we're going to help you move to what could be described as a new timeline, okay? <laughs> We're going to help you go upward vibrationally, which is just moving beyond this. So I'm going up with a skeleton key. Wow. I'm just going to keep going up, 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 up. It's just a huge bloated energy bag um, that is down there. And it kind of peeled off my skin as I was going up and out of there. But that's okay because we're letting things go. If I got to let my skin go in the process, then so be it. I'm just going to keep going up. Hmm. All right. I'm going to. All right. So some of the things that were happening there. So I'm letting again, I'm a part of you. You're a part of me. So this act is um, allowing you to just as continue to state to yourself. I am letting things go. 
no matter what that means, I'm letting it go and I'm choosing differently. Even if I have to blip out a bunch of times, I'm still going to choose differently no matter what. And so we're going to continue to stand firm in what we're telling the energy so that the energy now can revolve around what you want it to be now. Okay, so it's still kind of doing its resistance thing, but it's it, we have to just keep saying no. We just have to keep doing the same thing so that then it can learn for itself how to be different. So as we're going up here and we're letting all that go, which is quite a lot down there, um, things change. And uh, we're no longer moving up. We're just staying in the same place. And I start to see everything circulating around you in the center which is also me, so we're just one right now. And this the universe is just revolving around around this reflection of you. And as this happens, I just I just take the skeleton key out and I just I just toss it away. And I say, what is it that you want to do next? What is it that you want? Because what is a new timeline? It's new experiences. And you want those new experiences to be slower, more, more of a consistent pattern, more of a um, not so constantly changing, but consistency. So something has to be decided here because in a new timeline, you're going to have a new timeline full of lifetimes, past, present, and future. But your activity with the constant need to experience more, 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 more is going to be different in this new timeline. So how is it going to be different? We're going to create a timeline of rest and rejuvenation, recovery, peace, peacefulness, as long as your soul desires to have that time in lifetimes. Okay, lifetimes of just peace. So we're going to start your new timeline with this. Because that is what you want to achieve right now. You want to feel you've, you've come full circle with everything. So you can let all that stuff go and you can start to feel not discombobulated from everything that you've experienced and been through and all the use that you become because of everything you've been through. But now we can silence that more and you can just be this you. And you can let life just be life. And we can just let it be peaceful. And in this new timeline, if I create many lifetimes of peacefulness, that's going to uh, create a physical reality with lots of reflective uh, memories of peacefulness that have always been there. <sighs> and they're the loudest memories in your timeline, your new timeline, okay? So these influential new memories of your new timeline are going to influence a more peaceful experience in this current life, in the new timeline. We don't know anything about that other timeline because that timeline doesn't exist anymore because we've moved beyond it. I mean, we got to be firm with the carousel. That thing doesn't exist anymore. And anything that says that it needs to exist doesn't exist anymore. The mother tree, the root and all that stuff. Everything's come full circle. We don't need to understand anything more about it other than you've now reached a new timeline. And you're absorbing all the peaceful lifetimes you've ever experienced in that timeline from past, present and future. And they're all integrating into this moment in your current life. That's all we know. Okay, that's all we need to know. That's all that matters right now. That's it. So I'm just creating more lifetimes of this. And we're allowing you to feel full circle with all that you are. Collected. At peace with and peaceful. And wise. And in oneness with yourself. And all the sounds that come from any idea that another timeline ever existed, we're just going to continue to silence those. Because outside of this achievement here, this achievement bubble, is all this noise and all these like grabby hands and trying to pull and take you back down. And there's more work for you to do and you still haven't done it all yet. That's all bogus. That's all, that doesn't even, that's not even real. 
It was just an idea. Now the idea can fade away with itself because it never really did exist. Okay, that's how you create change. <laughs> this feels so spectacular, Jennifer. This feels amazing. This uh, achievement level that we've come to at this point of your journey. My heart feels really warm and bright and soft, and like cotton ball-y soft. And my head feels um, energetically shifting. I mean, this is what your energy is feeling like. I'm feeling it in this way. And it feels uh, a lot of movement around my head. And things are soft in my mind, but it's very peaceful feeling. And it feels like the noise of needing to do more, accomplish more, try new things is just fading out. It's just getting further and further away in the distance of non-existence because it's not really real. It's just an idea. You tell me that, um, how do you ensure that you stay in this uh, state? How do you ensure that you don't waffle away from it? Just tell yourself that you are all that you need to be. And that everything that you've ever been is complete. And now you're transitioning into a totally new experience of who you are. And it, everything that you know about that is that it's peaceful. And when you tell yourself this, your whole energy body, all your energy bodies, your energy field, all that you are, is like, oh, oh, okay. I guess that's what we're working with now. And then they will manifest that reality for you because the universe revolves around you and what you want for your experience and for yourself. So you just keep saying this. There's going to, life is going to be lived no matter what, but you're never waffling. And any time that you think or feel you might be waffling back into the old carousel, you're actually not. So you have to continue to state that as your reality. I don't know nothing about no carousel. <laughs> I don't know anything about that because I never had that experience. Even if all your memories say you did, you're not those memories anymore because that was the old timeline. And now you're in the new timeline of who you are now, which has nothing to do with who you were yesterday. It has everything to do with who you are right now. And all that has to do with is lots and lots of lifetimes of peacefulness and knowing who you are without having to find yourself in lots of life experiences and activities and life changes and constantly doing more stuff. Because you've done it all. You've done everything you need to do. So now you get to retire <laughs> from all that. <laughs> and now you just get to be peaceful and cotton bally. <laughs> so there's no such thing as waffling. Because you are complete within yourself now. We don't know nothing about no rib. We don't know anything about the skeleton key. We don't know anything about any of that. Because it's all that was, was what was. And that was what was a long what was ago. And now what was is all we know is lots of peaceful lifetimes. And that is actually be, being imprinted into your energy field through this session. Okay? I, and I can tell your energy field has a new pair of ears and is listening to this without the memory of all the noise and that what that was. It's saying, oh, I'm peaceful. Okay, well then I'm going to emanate peacefulness. Let's see how, let's see how you're doing now. Let's see how this part of you feels about it all now. You say, if you could tell me, Abby, if you could say one thing about who I am, um, how would you describe who I am? 
And it's, it ha it's important for you to have a concept of your identity now. And I, I understand. And actually, as I'm talking about, there's a huge shift of energy that happens from what is the left side. And it just goes whoosh over. And I start, it feels a little bit dizzy in my mind. And it's like I just uh, went from the sea legs over to land, which I'd never stand on, stood on land before. And now I'm just like, whoa, something weird is going on here. <laughs> So let me see how I feel like responding to that question. How would I define who you are? Who you are now? Hmm. Well, I step into you. So now I'm you and you are me. And then from within you, I want you to tell me because I'm just some inner part of your own mind, you tell yourself an idea of what you think you are now. And if you could be in one experience for a long, for a prolonged period of time where you did nothing but have this experience, what would it be? You show me, um, it kind of reminds me of the Emerald City, and um, it's cheerful, and uh, people, uh, it's a community, and people are cheerful, and everybody has their own uh, gifts and talents that they put into their work, and the, their work is uh, to help each other, and the community thrives. And uh, there's also a sense of... Uh, magic to it because it is the emerald city right and it's a magical world the wizard of oz is a magical world so there's a feeling of magic to it and i asked so what would you do for 30 years let's say 30 human years in the emerald city you say well i would be um the emerald building and all the people inside of it and the wizard of Oz and I would be all the people that came to visit it and I would emanate that energy from within my heart and that's what I would be and I'm gonna be that now and we're not even putting time on it we're not even gonna say 30 years we're just that's what you want to be right now you want to be all of that I think it's a really cool thing to be. <laughs> I think it's awesome. You like that and it uh, makes you feel bright inside and, and cheerful and it gives you acknowledgement of some idea of who you are. You are magical, you're bright emerald city like who doesn't want to go visit the emerald city like that's an amazing place to go visit and you have that energy about you like it's awing emerald green the people are phenomenal fantastic wonderful lovely all the parts of you are this way <laughs> something tidy and clean about it all a wise wizard you are all these things inside yourself and you are you just you you're not inside of a carousel if anything you know you are just standing and all that you are is now within you but you don't have to um you don't have to fall into all the p parts of you individual parts of you in order to develop all of those different personas but you can just let their energy flow and express from you from all sides of you within you and around you and you just emanate that. And you already are all of that in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, and all that you are. And you ask me if I feel like you, um, you've you achieved a lot. And <laughs> I say, well, of course. But I, I, if I have to answer that question, I, you have to say, you have to answer that one. Because, I mean, I could say yes to that, but... You have to know that inside yourself.
You see you standing on top of a mountain and it's snowy on top, but it's very much like a, a cone shape. And so it's very t tiny, a uh, sharp point at the very top and you're standing on this and you're balanced and you are free and the wind blows through you. And you're like standing on one foot and your arms are out and one leg is back and the breeze is blowing through you. And you're standing and you are in balance. And you are in balance with your surroundings and you are in balance with yourself. And you are free. Hmm. That's pretty awesome. Hmm. I'm just still in the energy of being free right now. <laughs> I'm just going to linger there for just a few more moments. Hmm. This, this whole journey is going to... It's like it, it, it takes away any, any more feeling of responsibility or to do or finding yourself or wondering who am I when I put all this stuff together. You, you can let all of that go now. And you can just be in balance now. But it's not just, it's, it's in your energy field. Your energy field is now flowing in the program and idea that you are in balance and you are free and you are at peace and you're going to feel this way it feels like you could walk on a balance beam and it's like walking on <laughs> the earth like you're not ever gonna fall off of it and you're you have more more than enough room even if it is a balance beam it's not gonna feel ever feel like that feels amazing right now. Hmm. All right, that's all I can say. <laughs> oh man, your energy field has nothing to do with discombobulated anymore. <laughs> and even when it thought that it was discombobulated, all it was trying to do was access balance. <sighs> hmm. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you for your open-mindedness to share this on YouTube, too. And uh, for those of you watching, it, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all for watching, and I wish you all a wonderful day.